Welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see a new R package that's called Esquisse. In this package, you will be able to make ggplot the same way you use Tableau. So you can simply use Tableau like drag and drop features to make a ggplot. And the beauty about this package is that it also gives you the ggplot code that you can paste it on your console or add it to your code so that the same plot that you just made using the GUI stays the same with you. So let us go ahead and then install this package just like how we install any other package. But before that, a huge shout out to this team DreamRS who made this package possible for us. So install packages, excuse, go to your console, paste it. It started uh, installing. Um, so you can see that what are all the dependencies that they have. They've got shiny widgets. Uh, that's it pretty much. So now let's go ahead and load the package. Library is quiz say. Let us go to the add-ins and uh, click ggplot to build a. And this is the GUI that we were talking about. So we can pick any of the data frames um, that are given uh, just for us to play with it initially. So let's pick economics. And you can see that there are 574 observations and then six variables in it. Okay, and these are the legends that you would see for discrete continuous time and um, ID related. So let's uh, validate import. Um, we have successfully imported. Now you are, um, this is the plot. You can see what kind of plots you can make. So you can keep it auto or line or histogram. So let's start with histogram. Uh, unemployment x and then it's building a histogram for you but because you have got only one continuous variable it's assuming that you want a histogram so let's let's now add another continuous variable so now it is automatically assuming that you want a categorical variable uh, sorry um, you want a scatter plot so that's the assumption it has made um, so you have got two continuous variables so it has become a scatter plot which is your geom um, point um, in this case let's remove those thing and then put a date variable so ultimately we are trying to see uh, a time series plot which is a line uh, plot so the thing is it's not just that you can make different plots with it but also you can um, customize it let's say this is a line chart using excuse caption data inbuilt then your x label is date and y label is unemployment count so you have got all the components that you are talking about and uh, that is nice so you have further uh, more options uh, what you can do with that uh, so which theme you want so is it minimal is it classic um, um, or um, you want a line draw so whatever whatever um, you want and um, what is your white transformation in case if you want a log transformation you can select log and then see it is changing you can easily change the color, which is um, one of the most pain points uh, that a lot of uh, our users face that you have to go to Google, um, pick a hex color and then come back and then select it here, but it's it's quite um, easier here. What else you have got? You want, you want, this is to see where your legend position you want. Um, you can change it. So this is about the data that you have. And then finally, once you're done with everything, you can just go copy to clipboard close it, come back here, paste it, run it. Oh, I'm not loaded, ggplot library, ggplot2, nice. You can see the same plot that you just built using the plugin, um, add an excuse. It is already available for you as a code. So now you can go ahead and add it to your um, R Markdown, R Notebook, or any of the documentation that you are going to use. So let us just try once again, um, but now instead of using a data set that is already available, what we can do is we can try to use a data set uh, that is of our interest. So I'm going to call empty cars into data frame. So now I've got a data frame, uh, which is uh, empty cars data set. So most of you know that empty cars data set, this is all uh, the information it, has con it's, it contains. Uh, I would probably do one little change to it, um, which is, Okay, let's let's just go with this. Let's just go with this. Um, go to ggplot builder and you can see you have got um, an inbuilt data frame. Click that. Okay, successfully. Um, blue color is continuous, orange color is discrete, and then you have got other variables. Validate imported data. So you have got all these things. 
now even though you are going to uh, see this as um, categorical it's it's actually um, continuous so what we can do is we can just go back and then say okay my df dollar cylinder is as dot factor df dollar cylinder so this is just to convert that into continuous uh, sorry categorical and then i would probably do the same for gear and i would do that for gear okay so i'm just converting two of these things um it doesn't change anything aesthetically but when we make the plot it makes a lot of difference so let's go to sqsa ggplot to builder click the data frame import it now you can see that the those two that we converted into factor it is already uh, um, a categorical variable so import it access your cylinder okay this is your cylinder count but let's say we want it with respect to mpg so now cylinder and how mpg is if you don't want that if you want um, a violin plot you can get a violin plot or uh, if you want a um, bar plot i think you have to you have to group it um in this case what i'll do is i'll just remove this thing then i'll say i'm going to see it with respect to mpg mpg and weight and in this case i've got a scatter plot so you can see uh, that uh, it has a negative correlation um when it changes so let's say that okay i've got a scatter plot now uh, i'll i'll want to see uh, the size with respect to the gear so okay size as gear you can see that um the size the larger the gear size um the uh, larger the mpg is and then it changes or instead of gear probably let's say we want to put cylinder over there okay so it's 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 the uh, the opposite way and um, if you want to make a facet you can just say okay instead of size i'm going to put it as facet so you are you got a faceted uh, plot 4 6 8 or the values that you have got and within that still um, you have this ability to put um, gear as color you can do so once you are done with that let's go ahead and then add the title title is um, um empty cars exploration and your subtitle is uh, let's say a uh, faceted uh, relation between weight and uh, mpg and your caption is um um data inbuilt okay your excess weight y is mpg which is miles per gallon and your color label i think uh, we can just uh, gear leave it out and um, make a little bit of uh, aesthetic difference with respect to the plot mm, maybe a different palette uh, the palette that you prefer um, in this case i would prefer this palette okay it looks decent i would also add uh, size to it um, in this case i would probably say okay my car size um, okay so this this makes good um i think that's it uh, this plot looks nice so let's go ahead and export our code or you can in insert this code into your script that's close it your code is ready so if you run it of course this is this is the beautiful plot that you just made um with a couple of clicks using sqsa's uh, gg plot to builder so gui makes it extremely extremely easier for you to make this plot um which is uh, so precise and uh, the the best part about it is that uh, now your code is complete which means uh, your code is not uh, you know looking ugly or um, um, you have got the entire code you don't have to go to stack overflow copy paste every single thing that you are writing on ggplot so this uh, this add in just makes it extremely extremely easier for you to build your own beautiful ggplot using a gui just like how you do it with tableau but um, without the need to pay someone a money so this is a package that we just discussed um you can find it on uh, github um excuse and uh, the developer uh, organization is dreamrs so let's uh, give a huge shout out to the developer and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you had enjoyed this video please let me know on twitter if you have any suggestions or uh, what plot you have built thank you for listening so see you in the next video